up YouTube? Okay, guy here once again, so today I'm doing a review, so I got a new phone case a couple days ago, so that way I have a little bit better, I might have a little bit better quality, I also have a new fan in my room, so yeah. Um, so today I'm doing a review of something I've actually wanted to review for quite a while, but I've never ever gotten to do it. Sorry about that. Um, but yes, so today, I'm going to do a review, not this today, um, I got up at, oh geez, about 9 o'clock, my mom woke me up, and because I had to go to church, and I got back to church a little while ago, and I'm going to do a review on Cheetos Extra Flaming Hot, yes, that's right, Extra Flaming Hot Cheetos, never ever had these before, I've seen them quite a few places, and I saw them today at my local U gas, which is right by my, uh, I won't say right by my church, but probably the closest gas station to my church. So, yes, and I got these. So I'm looking forward to the reviews. Um, I've seen, I looked up some reviews of them. Uh, I saw Reckless Lena's has done them. Um, yeah, some other ones, like Freaking has reviewed it. Um, Freaking has also done a challenge between Extra Hot, Extra Flame Hot Cheetos and Extra Hot Talkies. So yeah, so these are just the crunchy ones. So yeah, and as you can see, it says twice as hot. So yeah. Um, so yeah. I'm afraid I'm looking forward to see how hot these are going to be. And just in case, to see if they're too hot in my mouth, I have some Mountain Dew Pitch Black. So yeah, which I got as well. Hmm, wow. It smells very dry. It actually smells quite similar to regular flaming hot Cheetos. So here's one. It's very dark red, obviously. So I hope I'm ready for this. Yeah, it actually pretty much just smells like regular flaming hot Cheetos. Maybe a little bit hotter though, of the smell. So here we go. Three, two, one. Hmm, well, it's extra. I'm pretty thirsty too. Hmm, wow, those are actually not as hot as, not as, hot as I thought it would be. There's a kind of an awkward looking one. These actually aren't that bad, actually. Well, my tongue is actually burning a little bit, as well as the back of my throat. Um, but yeah, these definitely do have a kick. I can definitely feel some of my tongue and yeah, and definitely on my throat. Um, I scale of one to ten of how hot these are. Probably a five, five or six maybe. They're actually quite hot, but they're actually not as hot as I thought they would be. They aren't that bad, but they're actually quite dry. Now, the next one that I just tried was not as hot. 
I see other ones, but it's still pretty hot. So these are definitely the hottest Cheetos I've ever had. So these are pretty dry. Um, so these are gonna get a six out of ten. I'm glad I tried these though, but I'm probably never gonna get these again. I do like regular Twenty One Hot Cheetos. But yeah, my nose is kind of starting to run too. But yeah, I'm used to the spiciness of the fragrant flaming hot Cheetos. But I can really still feel, oh, I can definitely really feel some hotness on my tongue. I mean, all around my mouth I can pretty much, and definitely some in the back of my throat too. So yeah, so these are going to get a 6 out of 10. They're all just pretty dry, and... I don't know, I just may not eat that much, dude. My opinion, they're not actually that, they're not actually too hot for me. But yeah. So I'm probably just gonna drink my Mountain Dew Pitch Black with it, because I'm pretty thirsty. I haven't had Pitch Black in quite a while. So, yeah, so it's probably one of my hottest reviews ever. So, thank you much for watching, and if you didn't hear my range is 6 out of 10. So thank you much for watching, comment below. Like, subscribe, comment, I should say. Peace out.